After nearly two weeks of frigid competition in the dark northern reaches of Scandinavia, the IBU World Cup family was greeted by a winter wonderland complete with mild temperatures and lots of sun. U.S. biathlete Maxime Germain, fresh off of his stellar relay opening leg in Östersund, gives you a nice tour of the beautiful setting and tracks. That is, Hoke Filton. So out and back on those trails over there, we have the air pin, which we're about to demonstrate. Yep. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a beautiful day out there. As the men tackled the second 10k sprint of the season, all eyes turned toward Johannes Tingnes Bu. But before Bu would take the course, the German faithful flocked south of the border to see their own Philip Navroth wearing the gold World Cup leaders bib and wondering if he could retain the coveted prize. Trailing Johannes Dali of Norway by five seconds coming into the prone shoot, Navroth wilted under the new world leading pressure with two misses, making his stint in the yellow bib a short one. Attention then turned immediately to JT Boo in bib 21, who entered the range and soundly turned all targets from black to white to lead Benedict Dole of Germany by 10.8 seconds out onto the second loop, a sign that things were going his way. But three rapid misses from the standing position completely changed the complexion of the race. Suddenly Boo was out of it. Despite a miss each from Swede Sebastian Samuelson Martin Ponsaloma, they were skiing fast enough to land themselves in the clubhouse in first and second, only to be supplanted by clean shooting and later starting Norwegians. Tarja Bu shot perfectly from bib 49 to cross the line with the fastest time, pushing the Swedes to second and third. Then from bib 67, Sterleholm Lagrid found his magic again and perfected both his skiing and his shooting to take the second spot 4.9 seconds behind Tarja Bu. For Team USA, Jake Brown shot perfectly from the prone position. He took back nine places in the final time around the course, moving from 50th after the shooting range to 41st at the finish, making it his best finish of this young season and punching his ticket to the pursuit event. Vincent Bonacci, in his first World Cup start of the season, hit 8 for 10 and finished 72nd, while Maxime Germain struggled on the range with five misses, landing him in the 85th position. Francis Lou Jamino was the name on everyone's lips following a brilliant time coming away with the yellow bib after week one. But the pressure of the yellow bib manifested in two missed standing shots, relegating the World Cup leader down to 20th after standing. All the action remained at the front of the field with the early starters as bib 16 Norwegian veteran Ingrid Tandervold found her groove shooting perfectly prone and entering a drag race with Swiss star Lena Hackey Gross. The two separated at no point in the second lap by more than 2.2 seconds atop the field. Tandervold then knocked down all five shots while Hacky Gross sustained a miss from standing. Sweden's Elgar Ober, meanwhile, after a prone miss, kept herself near the top rung by shooting clean in standing to enter the fight for the victory in the final lap. When the dust settled, Tandervold would get the second World Cup victory of her career, 4.9 seconds ahead of the Swede Ober. Frances Justine Brissa Boucher, off of a season of maternity leave last year, found the form that made her the 2022 Olympic Master Champion, overcoming a prone miss to storm the last loop and grab the final spot from Hacky Gross by three tenths of a second. For Team USA, Dieter Irwin shot clean prone, leaving the shooting range in the top 20. But her skiing slowed from there and two misses from the standing landed her on the day in 49th place, but earning a spot in the pursuit. Jackie Garzo hit eight for 10 to finish 84th, while Grace Castanway hit seven for 10 in her World Cup debut to finish 86th. While Tarja Bu got his win in the sprint and he'd take that, the gap wasn't by very much, so he had a four second margin leading out of the start over his teammates to the home Lagrid. Johannes Tingnes Bu, with a single miss from the very first prone shooting stage, slowly began to emerge near the front of the field, catching Jacqueline and moving into third as they headed into the range, putting pressure on the leaders Lagrid and Samuelson ahead of them. Samuelson was the first to cough up his lunch, dropping two shots and out of contention. Lagrade and Jacqueline would both miss one shot while JT Boo shot perfectly and he'd leave the range 7.9 seconds ahead of Lagrade. The younger Boo would then grow that lead to 21 seconds by the last shooting stage and with the pressure off, proceeded to knock down all five targets rapidly and ski off for the win, like he has so many times before. Together, Shevdal and the elder Boo would chase down Lagrade over the final 2.5 kilometers with Shev Dahl crossing the line in second, Boot in third, Lagrade in fourth. Jake Brown, the lone American in the men's pursuit, missed a shot from each of the prone positions. Three penalties in the third shooting stage, however, plummeted him down the standings, climbing back up to 46th by the finish. 
Lena Hecke Gross of Switzerland had a single solitary IBU World Cup podium coming into Hochfilzen. So to miss the podium by three tenths of a second in the sprint competition, well, we can only assume that really hurt. In the women's pursuit, Hecke Gross seemed on a mission to stand off the snow for once in a flower ceremony. Clean shooting Lisa Vitozzi followed her out of the range while Elvira Uberg and Ingrid Tandervold chased from the penalty loop. With all three holding serve on the final shooting stage, it came down to a ski race on the final lap for the podium position, one that Elvira Uber was happy to tackle, winning comfortably by 11.2 seconds over a tired but thrilled Hacky Gross in second, with Tandervold third another 2.7 seconds back. The United States' Dieter Irwin was the lone starter for Team USA, splitting the difference by the finish line in 45th place. We'll be back with another U.S. Biathlon update next week from Lenzerheide and all season long. For the U.S. Biathlon team, I'm Chad Salmon.